Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the lab series. And in this lab, we are going to explore Kubernetes object ingress. Well, an ingress is an object within Kubernetes that manages external access or access from the public to your Kubernetes services, commonly used for HTTP service. But once you integrate your ingress, the Kubernetes object with the application gateway, which is Azure resource, you could utilize the functionality of application gateway like uh, HTTPS and uh, routing the traffic to the different backend services, like all the functionalities of application gateway, gateway once you deploy as AGIC in the Kubernetes. So what are we gonna do in this lab? This is in this lab, we're just trying to explore ingress a little more for our understanding. So what are we gonna do? We are going to uh, create pieces instead of going create the AG, you know, the ev everything in a go, we'll create the AKS cluster as an Azure CNI without enabling the uh, add-ons for AGIC. And then we'll create the application gateway as a separate resource. Then what we'll do, we'll try to uh, integrate it with uh, uh, AKS, and then we'll create an uh, application inside the Kubernetes and also create the ingress, which would be holding the public IP. It's like the, the external ingress. And then we'll try to see how this works. So <clears throat> to save time, I have created the AKS cluster already as an Azure CNI. How we create it, that has already been covered a couple of times in the previous videos. So just wanted to save time. I have a case cluster with me. I have application gateway with me, the basics. And then I'm going to create the other stuff, as I said. So let me share my screen and start rolling. Yeah. Let me show you. This is my application gateway, but before I, Go to the app get let me show you my kubernetes service this is the same aks cluster that i used in the previous video with two nodes running we did for that uh, troubleshooting purpose troubleshooting lab that we did in the previous uh, video if i go to networking <clears throat> i have uh, this thing unchecked application gateway ingress controller if you check it it will enable the add-ons but we'll try to do this because that's how you do it through the portal, but I wanted to show you through the uh, CLI. So we'll do through CLI. Now, if I go to application gateway, you can see it's a uh, simple application gateway with one public IP address and backend there is nothing, no target. There is one HTTP setting on port 80 uh, and <clears throat> There is one listener which is going to the default pool, but default pool has nothing, right? And this is the rule. If you click on the rule, and if you see the backend target, it is going to the default address pool, which has no targets, as I showed you before, zero targets. It's not WEF, but you can enable that as well. And this is the pretty much configuration of application gateway. Now we have these two resources. If I'll show you, this is under ADC RGV net, AGI subnet. If I click here, I'll show you the virtual network. These are our uh, uh, IP reserved, I think for uh, the ports because this is Azure CNI, right? If I click here, you will see there is an AKS subnet, there is an application gateway, and there is an AGIC subnet. This is where my application gateway is uh, <clears throat> running right now. And this is my Kubernetes cluster, okay? Now, what we need to do, is let's go to the uh, CLI. CLI will help us to perform this lab better because, uh, we already seen from the uh, portal and it's time to explore the CLI, but we need to also understand what we have created till now, Kubernetes cluster and application gateway I showed you. 
it's not like we cannot do it through portal, you can, but for this lab, I'm going to use the CLI. So what we're gonna do right now, if I do kubectl get nodes, you'll see we'll have the same two nodes that you have seen in the previous video. All right, there we go. Okay, and if I do kubectl get pods, hopefully I would not have any, no pods. kubectl get service, except from cluster IP, very good. Now what we're gonna do, <clears throat> we're going to enable the add-on. And what is that? Let me get back here and show you on the Kubernetes at cube under networking. Once I run the command, it, this will be checked and AGIC would be integrated here. The application gateway name AGIC that I've showed you already. So what we need to do, we need to do AZ, AKS, enable add-ons, okay? <clears throat> and this is for ADC cube. That is the name of my cluster. And I need to give the resource group and I have to give it ingress app gateway need to provide the app gateway ID as well. So that's a good thing. I have not picked the ID. Let me grab the ID first. And I have this thing with me right now that will help me to make it quick. Okay, app gateway ID, AZ network application gateway show name of my gateway resource group output and query ID. And I would have ID right here. Now I'm going to run the same enable add on <clears throat> command line. I've already take you through what it is. AZ, it is enable add on on my Kubernetes cluster name ADC cube resource group ADC RG. And that is the name of the application ID. Why we need the ID so that we could specify which application gateway. Now we have the application gateway in the same virtual network where the Kubernetes services are running in a different subnet, of course. So no need to create any kind of peering in both the virtual networks. You can, what, what I meant by that, you can create your application gateway let's say in a shared services virtual network or in a separate virtual network, and you can still hook it up with your AKS, but you need to peer both the virtual networks. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> now, while it is running, I'll, I'll show you, it wouldn't take much, but let me take you here. If I click here, go to the application gate to gateway, uh, not the gateway, why I'm, coming here, I should not come here. I should come here on the Kubernetes because it will start working on this part. You see now it is checked and it says which gateway, this gateway, because we enabled the add-ons, we provided the application gateway ID. And that's what it is. If I show you AGIC, this is the name of my application gateway. Okay, let's, let's come here. <clears throat> All right, so it's been uh, completed. The, co the the command that we have ran to enable that, it was completed as I already showed you on the portal. Let me clear this out. So the, the third step is completed. Very first was the creation of Kubernetes. We know how to create it. Then the app gateway, we know how to create it. Both these both these videos, uh, both these scenarios has been covered so many times in the previous videos. I do have the entire series of application gateway, the deep dive, you can check that as well. And in the third task is we are going to, we integrated it as an AGIC it's through enabling the add-ons, <clears throat> right? Now the fourth part is, I'm going to create a simple uh, application, okay? And for that, I have this, AGIC YAML file, which has <clears throat> uh, manifest file for the application, simple application, as you can see. So uh, we are not learning how to uh, create the YAML file. So just wanted to show you it's a simple file. So what we're going to do, we're going to do kubectl apply 
hyphen f and agic ammo it will create the pods and the uh service so it has been created now i do have an uh, ingress yaml file let me show you that as well this is the simple simple ingress uh uh YAML file, you can see the kind is ingress and the, here is the annotation which is required because we are going to utilize the Azure app gateway. So this will create the rules uh, and front end uh, would be the back end for the application get a front end service. If I do kubectl, uh, before I do that, let me run this one as well. kubectl apply hyphen f and ingress.yaml. <coughs> What this 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 is creating? It says it's created, but in the back end, it is going to apply these rules on the uh, app gateway. And meanwhile, I'll show you kubectl get service. We have all the private services. <clears throat> you can see there is no public IP attached anywhere. And this for, <clears throat> front end would be the uh, back end. Uh, of, of uh, in the ingress that we have decided if i do kubectl get ingress see this ingress is has been created but it doesn't have the addresses because it's configuring at the back end if i'll show you in the application gateway you'll start getting the back end pool not yet so it will come up very soon uh because when i run it when i ran it 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 creates the ingress here and configures the rules there. All right, so uh, let me get back here and you see, yeah, it started deploying the backend pool. And if I go to listeners, you'll find the same listener, but it would be attached to the rule, which this basic rule is hooked up with the, with the new backend, the backend, which is coming from the ingress. Okay, now if I go, I think I should have done that before, but it's fine. If I go and try to browse this, it should start getting the guest book. There we go, right? <clears throat> and if I come here and do kubectl get ingress, kubectl get in this that is correct but there is the ip address and if you'll come here on the agic 6.77 you'll find 6.77 it's the same public ip address which is coming from the application gateway to this ingress right <clears throat> so that was the lab for for uh for today and in next lab, what we'll do, we'll create the ingress as an internal ingress with the private IP, not hooking it up with the application gateway, no AGIC, but we'll create as an application gateway as a typical Azure resource and use the ingress, internal ingress as a backend and we'll configure that manually. That would be fun. A new learning for the ingress. Till then, take care and bye-bye.